today on Tiki Boy Weekly, I talk about torrent trackers, the servers that help you download peer-to-peer -peer over the internet using your favorite BitTorrent client. <laughs> My name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, you can always email me at ask at tqaweekly.com, go to my website, tqaweekly.com, and use a contact form or leave a comment on this specific episode, and if you're posting or watching on any website like YouTube, Blip.tv, Vimeo, or anywhere else I post to every single week, you can always leave a comment down below. This episode of TQA Weekly is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymously and without oversight. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash podcast and use the coupon code T-Q-A-W-E-E -E in all caps. That helps out this show a lot. Today's topic of the day is the torrent tracker. And of course, the torrent itself was the brainchild of a Bramcom, roughly 38 years old today, and allows for anybody to share a file in a decentralized fashion, peer to peer, which actually goes against the normal logic of downloading stuff over the internet, which requires a server and a linear download philosophy, whereas the torrent itself allows for a non-linear download philosophy that allows for multiple chunks of the file in no particular order to be downloaded into your computer in no particular order, basically saying rarest first and less rare last. The torrent tracker is the most important part of this decentralized communication pattern to peer-to-peer -peer downloading because it actually allows for each of the peers to connect to each other to know that they exist and to know which chunks they have or don't have of that specific torrent itself. So that is what the torrent tracker is for. It allows for things such as natraversal, which is virtually impossible for the common user to understand because you would have to explain to them how to punch holes into their own router's firewalls to allow for such connections to occur. In these cases, most torrent clients take advantage of the fact they have universal plug and play turned on. Using natraversal allows for the configuration automatic configuration on top of all that of your firewall to allow peers to connect to you so that you can download and upload multiple different chunks of that specific torrent file that you're both leeching and seeding simultaneously. Now the torrent tracker allows for anybody to see who is anybody. You might have noticed IPs addresses and speed information, ISP information in each of these torrent files. So for those actually reading my show notes, you might actually start understanding why we get caught downloading movies and music via torrents. There is nothing inherently private about the torrent tracker. In fact, some of this information actually extends outside of you being connected to the torrent itself. So it's not because you connected to the torrent for five minutes that your information is not already captured for a long time. It will actually remember which chunks you downloaded next time you actually connect to that specific torrent tracker itself. Now, because this information is recorded, big companies tend to either honeypot torrent trackers or even worse, connect to legitimate trackers and start scraping the information of every single one of the peers connected to it. This is how you keep getting caught downloading very specific movies. Although normally they script the information on the latest movies that just came out because they're seriously pissed that people are actually downloading it. But that being aside, we also have the issue of the fact that since your firewall has holes in it, there are specific kinds of attacks that can be done against people downloading torrents, like the injection of viruses into your computer while you are downloading torrents. And this is due to the fact that you have UPnP turned on from your torrent client, allowing for the modulation of the router's firewall to actually put holes in your security. So basically you've opened the door to your network to just about anybody connected to that specific torrent. And if they want to infect you, they potentially could infect you depending on how your system is set up. Now, 
With all these problems, there are projects like OneSwarm that allow for privacy layers designed to protect your identity and your computer. However, there are better ways of doing this and there are much more private ways of downloading stuff over the internet. First, turn off UPnP. I've said this before and I'll say it again. You don't need it. I turned off UPnP over two years ago on my network and I've never heard anybody in this house ever say that something did not work. It is frankly a broken technology that was never useful in the first place. So turn that off. Second, you have to understand your IP is that part of the download process of the torrents. So the only way you can get around using your IP is by using a VPN, not a proxy, not Tor. These are not technologies that are designed for torrent downloading. You specifically need to put your connection inside a pipe that your ISP cannot see into or be held liable for. So you have to connect to a VPN outside of your regional area. This will give you a brand new IP address. And since most VPNs don't record or maintain permanent databases of connections done from server to server, like the meta information, they may keep a little bit for a few days for diagnostic reasoning, but besides that, they don't actually keep the information. It might be too late for these big companies to come back later and ask who was connected to that IP. So that makes you safer. Having UPnP turned off also prevents holes in your firewall firewall from existing, but it also puts more dependence on the torrent tracker server. So having a different IP will be more important to you at this process at this point, because you will no longer be able to connect directly to peers without the torrent tracker allowing for the handshake to occur in the process. That is a torrent tracker. That's what you need to do to remain private and more secure. Now I can't make these episodes without sponsors or I can't make all of them without sponsorship help. And this one is a service that is a lot closer to the problem at hand. They are a VPN service. They are ProXPN. This is what I use to connect to the internet irregardless of what I'm doing. I only download torrents of Linux distributions anyway and the rest of the stuff I watch on Netflix or on other services all the time. So. Now more than ever, your online freedom and privacy are under threat. Governments and ISPs want to control what you can or cannot see while keeping a detailed record of everything you do. Plus that free Wi-Fi at the coffee house or airport terminal is putting you at risk. Because your passwords and sensitive data can be intercepted more easily than you might think. Torrent trackers are an issue for this. This is why I use VPN. This is why I suggest you use a VPN because they're gonna be recording everything you do. That is their business. They're worse than the NSA. They're worse than CISPA and PIPA. They're worse than six strikes. They're basically the one enforcing the six strikes rule in the United States. I'm in Canada. We all have our very similar stuff, but they are the ones who know the most about you all the time. ProXPN is a global virtual private network that, that works with almost any internet connection. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel through which all your online data passes back and forth. Any online application can work with ProXPN, including your web browser, email, file sharing like Dorinding, and instant messaging program. ProXPN keeps everything you do online hidden from prying eyes, disguising your physical location and giving you unfeathered access to any website or online service no matter where you live or travel to. Offers complete online privacy with a 2048-bit encryption key, 512-bit encryption tunnel, works with OpenVPN or PPTP, protects yourself against the ISP six strikes rule or similar, bypasses internet filtering, blocked websites, geographical restrictions for internet content and online video with worldwide servers in US, UK, Asia, and more. So if you wanna watch United States' Netflix instead of Canada's Netflix, go right ahead. And it also works with your iOS or Android device allowing you to use your data plan or public corporate Wi-Fi with complete and total privacy on the go, no app required, and their software for Windows and Mac offers advanced controls allowing you to select which programs and ports you want to anonymously route through the ProXPN servers. So if you want to connect to Steam in your own country but download torrents from a different place, you actually can, and they also offer 24-7 customer support. All you need to do is to go to proxpn.com slash podcast for more information and to sign up. TQA weekly watchers and listeners also get a free 30-day risk-free trial. Remember to visit proxpn.com slash podcast and sign up with the coupon code 
all caps, T-Q-A-W-E-E. Pro XPM Premium accounts are normally $9.95 a month. $74.95 for the entire year. We've got a special offer. Use the coupon code T-Q-A-W-E-E and receive 20% off the lifetime of your account. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.